We're live. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I was going for noonish and I was ready early today. So I thought I would come on early. Uh, and it, it wasn't connecting. So I just went to check my Wi Fi, which is fine. Anyway, welcome, room review. It is week 12 already. I can't believe it. And this week, we are looking at a gathering area. It's kind of a, a large open space that is used for dining, um, hanging out, etc. So it's a space with a lot of windows. We're going to look at how to handle that in a big open space. Um, and just a couple notes about room review. The suggestions that I make, I try to make them easy and very doable. I'm not sitting down and laboring over this a really long time. I'm kind of just pulling out ideas and putting them out there as easy transformational things that you can do to a space. So as always, I would love to hear your comments in the comments, either on YouTube or Facebook, um, as to what you would do with this space, because I'm not necessarily right. <laughs> I'm giving you my ideas and I would love to hear yours. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go to, yeah, let me see, screen share first, and then, okay. <clears throat> so, this space, uh, we're going to start looking at the far wall to the left. You see the big, beautiful windows here. I'm not a fan of these honeycomb shades, although if you wanted to keep them, you could, but I would recommend adding curtains <clears throat> and in the same way, hang them high and wide. Hmm, that's not supposed to be scrolling like that. Uh, <clears throat> it should be fixed, but above and outside of the window so that you maximize the window. And like I said, you could keep the shades if you wanted to, just to be able to get rid of the light. But I would do a neutral in this space because it has to work for a number of different areas. That last one was a linen cotton blend, and then this is a very neutral kind of pattern. So I would hang them, I would hang two sets of curtains here, and I would change out that picture to actually be like a round mirror or something like that, because you've got a lot of square going on, and the big up and down of the curtains will help with that, but uh, adding kind of a little movement in there um, will, will help that a lot. When I first walked into this space, it just was kind of boring. It was well lit, but it was, it was a little bit um, dull. As you'll see in a moment, the furniture is kind of uh, all very neutral colors, that kind of thing. Let's see. And there's a lot of track lighting, which I'm not sure what that's about. Um, I would add some more um, gentle lighting, uh, whether it be in floor lamps or sconces. Um, there is a ceiling fan that has a light on it as well. I would add a nice piece of art over here. Um, to brighten up that wall, maybe either one piece or a couple smaller pieces. <clears throat> I like that plant in the corner. It might have to move a little bit if you've got the curtains though. Right here where the dining area is, the table, it's fine. I mean, it's, it's plain and um, it, there's a beautiful wood floor. So having the table be black, I think is fine because it just kind of is a little foil to it. But I would definitely add a rug to kind of define this dining area. Um, probably a colorful rug, but you could do more of a neutral because I'm gonna suggest a colorful rug on the other side too. So while you don't have to do the same rugs by any means, you could do, like this might be a good one for right here if you did a colorful rug in the dining area and then we'll look at another colorful one in a different scale pattern for the other area in a minute. <clears throat> okay, so Going around the room, let's see. I think uh, we're going to see a little bit of the ceiling here in a minute. Um, <clears throat> while I don't mind this round picture, I mean, it is kind of cool that the image is round, but the fact that it's so square kind of accentuates all the squareness going on in there. Okay, so here we see the ceiling fan a little bit. <laughs> and that does have a light on it, so that could be a good overhead light. And the ceiling fan does not bother me at all. It's very benign. Um, and I know, I think, I think that unless you're doing something specific with it, it doesn't have to be, you know, it just should not be offensive because <laughs> it is up, up there on the ceiling and you're not going to see it a lot. 
uh, but it does also help for airflow. So the mantle here, there is no mantle. There's just a little hearth that actually has plants in it. But I would put a little shelf there and maybe put a piece of art and make that an architectural, um, uh, you know, visual there so that you can actually put something on it and create more of a focal point, uh, maybe a colorful painting that pulls out some of the colors that we talk about in the rug um, would look nice there. But definitely adding a shelf that could, could make it more of a mantle. Then looking over to the right there um, are two plants and maybe you keep one of the plants and I thought putting possibly a bookshelf in there that went up a little ways you could put plants on the bookshelf. You could also put that um, clock that was hanging over the mantel on the bookshelf. Um, you know, and also again with bookshelves, try to go for a color palette and put things in different directions. I like how some of the books are stacked horizontally, some are stacked vertically. Vertically, there's a plant. Um, I'm not sure what that globe is doing there. I kind of like it, but it kind of doesn't go with what we're doing. I wish it were a globe that pulled in more of the colors that I'm talking about, but it's kind of a cool globe. So I would definitely find something else to do with it. <laughs> okay. Coming over here to this wall, um, we have a big window and then a big mirror. And actually it bothers me because the size is kind of similar. I would add curtains again to the window on the left and you can keep the, the blinds if you wanted to, but I would definitely open them sometimes and have the curtains hanging low, move the sofa out so you can do that. And then I would add either a painting or a grouping of paintings there where that mirror is. Cause now you've got a round mirror on the other wall and on this wall, you can add some color and some interest. It just looks funny to me. It's too similar. The shapes, the um, uh, mirror and the window. Um, I love these, these cute, uh, dog portraits or like a little collection, a little triptych of bird, uh, you know, uh, brightly colored birds, something like that could look really nice there because it isn't going to be centered over the sofa. Let's see. What are we going to talk about next? I believe, um, perhaps the fact that the furniture is kind of crowded. I don't know if you can tell how the chair is stacked against the sofa over there. There's plenty of space in this room to be able to move things out and away from the, um, also if you wanted to have a television in this room, which they don't have, you could either put that over the mantel or you could make a space for it in the bookshelf that we were talking about. <clears throat> okay. So here, this space can really use a rug to define the seating area and kind of pull it together. Right now it's very brown. There's a lot of brown going on here between the table, the floor, the sofa, the chair, the pillows. I would put a colorful rug here. And this one could be a good one to be a foil against the other one that we looked at earlier. Totally different scale. Also includes some nice colors um, here. This shows you how you can use a rug to create a kind of seating area and, and define the area. Here's another one. This one actually uses layered rugs, which is a trend I really like right now also. Um, so adding a rug right there will do a lot to brighten it, to make it cozier. I love that they have board games. I think that's a fantastic thing to have in your gathering area. Um, <clears throat> see how the chair is kind of butted up against the sofa. I guess it, it probably works, but it's just very cluttered feeling. So moving it out, moving everything out and giving it space to breathe will work better. It'll also work better with the door, the sliding doors that are behind it as well. So looking at all the, um, pillows here, it's a sea of brown and yeah, there's texture, but it's just not, um, well, I mean, maybe some people like it. It's just not very exciting <laughs> and dynamic. Uh, I think it could be cozier. There I'm showing you where we need to separate the furniture, move it out, and then add color in the pillows. And we're going to have some examples of that. I'm a big fan of um, having some more examples of color and paintings in the room. I'm a big fan of having neutral furniture that you can then change things out. This very obviously is not a neutral sofa, but the pillows could go on the brown sofa and it can make it really a much livelier 
um, environment. I do love that navy tufted sofa, though. <laughs> Navy's practically a basic to me, so I kind of call that a basic. These are a little more subdued, but you could go with, you know, more washed color, but just some color. Add some color. You can also change pillows out by the season, which I highly recommend. So velveteen, this kind of thing, would be great for fall and winter, and then maybe bring in some silk and satin type things and cotton and linen for summer and spring. I like the pom-poms on these. I think they're really cute. But these are some more um, toned down muted colors if you wanted to keep things a little toned down. And this also, even these are muted even though there is quite a bit of color in them. I think they're just beautiful. These are pretty expensive, these pillows. All this you can see in Pinterest. I've got a board uh, under High Vibe Home where you can see gathering room makeover and you can find all the pins for these things I'm talking about. Now we're looking at the sliding door. I personally cannot stand vertical shades so I would do something like this. I would put a big rod and have a curtain that could pull across um, or there are like these kinds of things these uh, I don't know what you call them I guess they're just kind of flat shades that can pull across which is kind of an Asian uh, look to it but um, I definitely would do something different because vertical shades are very dated and they just don't give a cozy feel to a room at all looking over at the door over there I would put a Roman shade maybe in the same fabrics that you're using in the curtains. And again, because the room is all one place, I would use the same I would use a neutral fabric because you're you're adding a lot of color in the rugs and in the pillows and in the artwork. And I think the curtains are kind of a frame for the architectural details in the room and because it's a big space, I would keep it all the same fabric and relatively neutral. Okay, so Let's just talk about the recommendations. Um, dress the beautiful windows with extended curtains in a neutral fabric. And I would do a linen cotton or linen blend that's kind of seasonless, unless you want to change out your curtains each season. And you could do like a velveteen or something for winter and then linen cotton in summer. Um, add a round mirror on that dining wall, add some art, add a mantle and create a focal point over the fi fireplace, which isn't really a fireplace, but it's a, it's an, you know, architectural detail. Add a shelving unit in the recessed corner and fill it up with some books and some plants and different things. Add rugs to create separate spaces within the open room. Add space to breathe between the wall, between the furniture. Consider creative sliding door treatments instead of the vertical shades. And add colorful pillows and throws. I think we have a picture coming. Here we go. So here is kind of the mood board with some of the different things I talked about. And this will be uh, loaded in the High Vibe Home group if you would like to uh, see it as well as the recommendations. So let's come back to me. Hmm, I can't see, I can never see it. I think I'm back. <laughs> Why doesn't it come up full? Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you so much for joining me. Hey, Annie. Hey, Michelle. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. I don't know why I can't see your comments when I'm doing it, because I have my screen share, maybe. I can't even see them down on, on myself. I heard the beeps, but um, I didn't, I couldn't, uh, couldn't see your comments but thank you for being here and please in the comments let me don't let me know anything you would do in this space maybe you would do navy curtains and aqua pillows uh, maybe you would have to get new furniture you want a slimmer profile I don't know just let me know I'd love to hear your ideas and what you see in this space because it's so much fun to envision what you would do in a space so I hope you have a great day uh, make sure you tune in next week at noonish for a room review and you can find the replay here or on YouTube and I will see you next week. <laughs>